Kung Fu Master for the Atari 2600. Now, I do remember seeing this in the uh, arcades, you know, back in the day. Didn't really play this game very much because I'm I don't play a lot of these type of fighting games. I I'm kind of like the shoot 'em up type games, things like that. But it is a fairly fun game, even though I can't play it worth a darn. Uh, I tried multiple times to record me playing this game on Mame, and I just can't get by the first boss. <laughs> but it's still an entertaining game if you like this type of, of genre. I have seen this in the arcade recently. Uh, I think I saw it in an arcade a few years ago. Uh, I think it was up in Chicago. Maybe it was at Galloping Ghost I saw it. That's probably where I saw it the last time. Played it a couple times. I do play it every once in a while when I do see it in the arcades I visit. But otherwise, I pretty much pass it by. I, I never did have the 2600 version. Back when this came out, uh, late 80s or so, I was in college and I was into my computers. And I really didn't play the 2600 much at all. I didn't get back into the 2600 until probably sometime in the in the early 2000s or whatever. And I started picking up games again. But this is one I picked up at a, a friend's game store from Greensboro, North Carolina, Matt's Game Exchange. He had a huge collection of a box of Atari 600 games that was traded in a few a few months ago. And I was lucky enough to get there, and right after he got them, so I was able to pick through the, the stack and got a lot of great titles in some really good condition boxes. And this is one of them. It is a really cool looking box. It kind of looks like the arcade flyer for the arcade game. A little sticker here says licensed by Data East. They stuck a sticker on the box. It is an Activision game. It's done by the Kitchen Brothers, Gary and Steve, who are phenomenal programmers. I love all the stuff that they do. And of course, on the back, it shows a nice screenshot of the game itself. And it is a good looking game for a 2600. And they did a heck of a job squeaking out as much as they could out of the 2600 to get a game that looks very similar to the arcade, has some good sounds, and the gameplay mechanics aren't that bad. Of course, we have a little story back here Kung Fu Master. You are a master of the martial arts. Quietly confident that your skills will allow you to overcome the any challenge, even the greatest challenge of all, the Wizard's Temple. Remote and heavily guarded, the temple's fortress never before defeated. You must avoid demons, dragons, snakes, and killer bees while doing battle with the Wizard's armed henchmen on each of the five floors of the temple. Beware lapses of concentration. You must defeat all these deadly guardians and move to advance to the next floor. Failure is out of the question. The, winner, the wizard holds the princess captive, and only you stand between her and an uncertain fate. The one thing you can be certain of is non-stop martial arts action with Kung Fu Master. Awesome. <laughs> Every time I, I, I see this game, I think of that Dev, David Carradine show used to watch growing up. Uh, Kung Fu? I think it was called Kung Fu. I can't remember. Well, it was David Carradine, he, he would go around from village to village, you know, and he was a man of peace, but he would fight to defend the villagers and things like that. It was a really cool TV series. I loved it. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so let's see what else came in the box. Besides the box, we have the Kung Fu, upside down, the Kung Fu Master Cartridge. This is the black label version. One joystick, one player. We also have the instruction manual. It's a martial artist's guide. <laughs> of course, it's, just, it's a plain manual. It's not a full color one. Because, you know, this is towards the end of the, of the 2600's life. But, you know, one goal, many levels. Oh, the lovely Princess Victoria. I forgot she had a name. Oh, we got to save the princess. So, just like a, another... Uh, Famous little guy, we're going to save a princess. So it shows what's on the screen. We have our timer, the lives, our score, your energy bar, the enemy's energy bar. And we have a listing of all our enemies here. We have the henchmen. They're much, much of a threat. They, they try to, uh, they'll come and hug you. They'll hug you to death. The knife throwers, they throw knives, oh boy. Midgets, oh yeah. They tumble. As they approach me, their side. 
<laughs> Dragon Balls, the sky, Snake Baskets, Killer Moths, the Five Biggies. In each level, there's a guy who's bigger and better than all the others. And I can't get by the first one. <laughs> so here's the different levels. We have uh, level one, the first fighter. Level two, the boomerang thrower. Level three, the giant kicker. Level four, the lightning magician. And level five, the gang master. Now, as I was talking about the controls of this game, uh, basically when you're moving the joystick and hits the fire button, that's when he's going to kick or whatever. You can't just stand still and kick. You have to move the joystick in a direction, which kind of messes me up every once in a while. We have our points value. Wow, 10,000 points for the gang master. Jeez Louise. It's crazy. Oh, we got a few hints back here. Don't use punches and kicks randomly. A true martial artist knows when to apply them in just the right moment. Try to figure out which type of blow works best against which opponents. Most of most of them have contained weak spots. Don't try to battle the stake. Just stay out of its way. Ah, that's good advice. Remember, no one opponent can kill you outright. But they all rob you of energy. So if the opponent happens to hit you just when your energy level is low enough, he may end up killing you. And keep a close eye on the timer. When time runs out, so does your life. Ooh. Awesome. I notice they don't have any credits in here for Steve and Gary. Unless I, unless I missed them. Huh. Oh, well. Oh. That's uh, that's little uh, Maximus. Maximus the pug is barking right now. Hang on, I gotta pause this video. Also in the box, we have a catalog from Activision, Absolute Entertainment, and Imagic. All the different games they make for the 2600 and 7800. A lot of great games in here. Of course, there's Kung Fu Master. Oh, Mega Mania. I love Mega Mania. Chopper Command, another good one. Robot Tank. Oh, yeah, kaboom. That's an awesome game. Pitfall, of course, a classic. Demon Attack, Space Shuttle, Keystone Capers, River Ray. They made some really incredible games. Activision did. It's kind of cool to have this. Anyway, let's pop the cartridge in and give the game a run. All right. Irem. Activision, 1987. Okay, here we go. Hoi y'all. Ho, hoi. Ho, oh, take it, take it, take it. Oh. Oh, 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 miss me. Miss me again. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Ah, I wasted. Oh. Get away, get away, quick! Go, kick! Whoa! Whoa! What? Ah! Route house! Oh no, it's the. Oh, 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 They did a really good job on this game. It plays really well. Oh! What da? Oh, man, almost got him. Oh, 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 oh. oh missed me. Oh! oh. He knifed me in the knee. Oh man, I got all my power. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not going to make it to the end. One hit. One punch, man. Take that, take that, and that. Take that, and that. Whack, whack. No, 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 no. Ah, darn it. Ow. Give me the death hug.
Dang it. <laughs> 1,587 points. Now that's terrible. I am so bad at this game. Let's try another round. I mean, it is fun. I just can't play it. Ah, oh, dang it. I jump instead of switching directions. Leg sweep. Whoa. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, come on. Ah. <laughs> oh. 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 Got me in the knee. Duck. Oh, we got me again. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Ooh! If you want to see the entire game being played, you might have to go watch my buddy Phil, the No Swear Gamers channel. <laughs> I think he's much better at this game than I am. <laughs> but it is a good representation of the arcade game. No, Activision did a really good job with this game. Anyway, that's uh, what little you can see of Kung Fu Master because of my very bad video gaming skills. <laughs> but anyway, it's still a fun game to play on the 2600. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. Ha 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 ha! Son of a...